Hi, welcome to my channel, JabberTime. Here's another example about triple integration, but this time it's about volume. So when we do the triple integration, there is no function inside, it's gonna be one, one dV. Use polar coordinates to find the volume of the solid below the paraploid Z equals 18 minus two X squared minus two Y squared. As you could see from here, it's shifted 18 units up and since it has a minus x square and a minus y square parts, it's opening down. Down to what? To the x, y plane. And we're going to stop right here, as you could see, above the x, y plane. Let's get started. Here's the problem again. So what we have here, we have z equals 18 minus. So let's write it down. And we could take 2 out as a common factor. So it's 18 minus 2 multiplied by x squared plus y squared. The reason why I'm doing this, because x squared plus y squared is r squared. And that's going to help with our math. So, one more time. z equals 18 minus 2x squared minus 2y squared. When you graph it, as I said, it's like minus 2x squared minus 2y squared plus 18. So when you say plus 18, it's shifted up on the Z axis 18 units. Differently, as I said right here on the side, it's 18 minus 2R squared. Now, if you want to see the region down below the projection, we're going to have to force Z to be 0. So 0 equals 18 minus 2X squared minus 2Y squared. We could take the minus part or terms to the other side and that's going to be 2x squared plus 2y squared equals 18 divide by 2 every single term on the left and the right side to reduce and simplify i have x squared plus y squared equals 9. that means r squared so r is 3. you could see the graph it intersects the y-axis at 3 and the x-axis at 3. That's a reason, a reason why I have it marked earlier. Now, looking in two dimension about the region D down below, we have the X, sorry, the, yeah, the X, Y plane. X squared plus Y squared equals nine. So R goes because it's a solid region. It's not just a circle. Goes from zero to three. And theta goes all the way from zero to two pi. Now, I mentioned earlier that the volume is, with triple integration, it's going to be one inside. Of course, with double integration, it's different. But we are focused now on uh, triple integration. So, we have the volume 1 dV over the region E that we are looking at. This whole region is region E. This region is called region D. So the paraploid is z equals 18 minus 2x squared minus 2y squared, or differently, we said 18 minus 2r squared, and that's the projection down below. Going back to the triple integration, we're going to take the first part up and down. Then when we project, we will have two integrations, so the other two will be down below. That's when we use the polar coordinates. So the first one would go from z equals 0 down below all the way to this z, and that's my z2, which is 18 minus 2x squared minus 2y squared. Okay? Now, so we have... <coughs> uh, since this, this is a 1 inside the integration will be z and when you do the substitution of the upper bound and the lower bound the z equals zero is not going to do anything so we're going to plug in into z 18 minus 2x squared minus 2y squared i'm reducing the steps right here and that's what you get now we are down to double integration so this whole integration is just 18 minus 2x squared minus 2y squared because there's just a one 
inside wire. Changing this to polar coordinates, so I could work on this region, that's a double integration. I have 80 minus 2 R square dA. Okay. Breaking it this down into two integrations with bounds, we're going to use for dA or dr d theta. And r goes from 0 to 3. And theta goes from 0 to 2 pi. The reason why I like my notes, or I write my notes, not just I like my notes, I mean, I do like my notes, uh, is I kind of like, uh, instead of reading a text with colors right here and graphs next to it, breaking this down to also another uh, two colors helps me stay focused. So when I go back to my notes, it's quick, easier than uh, textbooks, which is kind of like all pretty much the same color and typed. This is what I mean. That's why I call my videos lecture notes. So by looking at it, you could tell what's happening. You could tell that I'm theta is not mentioned right here. So I could take it out by itself and I keep the one with R's in green from 0 to 3, theta from 0 to 2 pi, and so on. Integration of this will be 1D theta, which is uh, theta, plug in 0 and plug in 2 pi, you just get 2 pi. So why would I waste your time and write it down? It's just 2 pi. Integration of this, which is simple math, come back to calculus 1, 18R to the second over 2 simplifies between 18 and 2, which is 9, and so on. I don't want to keep reading. You could follow me, it's clear notes to refer to and use. So that's what we have. Plug in 3, plug in 3, plug in 0 is not going to do anything. I have 81 minus half of 81, which is half of 81. This is a whole 81 minus 81 over 2, which is 81 over 2. Times 2 pi, that 2 simplifies, and that's my final answer. See, it's quicker and less time from recording. That's my reason. Clear notes, clear graphs, colored notes, and that should do it. So it's about 10 minutes. I mean, without writing notes ahead of time, if I write and graph as I'm recording, it's not going to be about 10 times, uh, 10 minutes. It's going to be about 15 to 20 minutes. So that should do it. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.